remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Warner Brothers is set to do a prequel to the Antoine Fuquay directed crime thriller Training Day. Newcomer Nick Yarbrough has been commissioned to pin the film, which is said to be set a decade before the 2001 original that was written by David Ayer. Denzel Washington and Ethan Hawke starred in the film. Both actors received Oscar nominations for their performances with Denzel taking home the trophy for Best Actor. There was a TV series based on Training Day, which aired on CBS during the 2016-17 season. The series, which starred Bill Paxton and Justin Cornwell, was canceled after one season following the death of Paxton. It was set 15 years after the events in the movie and featured new characters. There was an idea at the time to make the show a True Training Day sequel featuring the surviving main character from the movie, Ethan Hawke's Jake Hoyt, but that didn't come to fruition when talks fell through with Ethan Hawke. Off the real family, I can't even see this movie happening without Denzel Washington. They need to figure out some kind of way to bring that back around. You know, maybe Denzel goes back in time or something. I don't know. I just can't see the movie happening and being as good without Denzel Washington. I mean, he was so powerful in that movie. The quotes alone, how are they going to fill those gaps? Just the quotes. Denzel could bring it. He could take it to the next level. He has the propensity to do that, to outdo himself, to one-up himself. The quotes King Kong ain't got shit on me. I'm putting cases on all you motherfuckers. <laughs> Come on, man. What's some of the other quotes he had? What did, what did he say? Uh, Denzel said, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. You want to go to jail, you want to go home. Remember when Ethan and Denzel were inside of the car and Ethan was tripping because of what he had done because Denzel had got him high unbeknownst to him? hooked him on some PCP, <laughs> and he was tripping. And Denzel said, you made the decision, live with your decision. Ain't like I put a gun in your head. Boy, that Denzel was cold, oh, ruthless. Ethan had one great quote in the movie to me. Can't really count the quote where he used Denzel's words against him when he was collecting the evidence and Denzel was trying to hold on to evidence. He said, that's my evidence. He said, you want to go to jail? You want to go home? Can't really use that. It was good at that moment, but you, you don't get a lot of credit for using somebody's words against them. That's like somebody telling me no more talk, you know, trying to stick it to me. You know, it ain't going to work. But I would say Ethan Hawke's moment, his quotable, came when he said, you got to control your smiles and your cries because that's all you have. And nobody can take that away from you. That was on the money right there. I love that quote. You got to control your smiles and your cries because that's all you have. And nobody can take that away from you. I like that. But at the end of the day, family, Denzel Washington is not going to be in the movie because it is a prequel, not a sequel. And besides that, how do they make him come back from the dead? I mean, he took a whole bunch of shots. I mean, he'd have to be Superman. I mean, he died at the end of the movie, but they've made people who supposedly died at the end of the movie come back before. But that was a whole lot of damn shots. I mean, he would have had to, he didn't take any shots to the head. So, I mean, I mean, it's the movies. They can make it happen if they really, really wanted to. But the hardest part would be 
trying to figure out how do you go back in time because the new movie is set, the prequel is set to happen around the times of, around the time of the L.A. riots. So L.A. riots, what I believe, what, was it 92, 94? Somewhere between 92 and 90. I can't remember the exact date, but it's somewhere up in that early 90s. So the movie is set to happen in that era. And that is the reason why, the biggest reason why Denzel is not going to be able to be in that movie. They can't even make it work. The way I see it, good luck to all of the new guys that are going to be in the movie. But no Denzel, no more talk. What the ladies talking about?